come up. <laughs> I'm gonna come up big. I'm gonna start big. Okay, start big. Ageless. What does ageless mean? My relationship to age, I never really think about it that much. Unfortunately, our society and our culture mm -hmm. put so much focus on age. There are people who are in their 60s who are not very evolved. Yeah. There are people who are in their 20s who are exceptionally evolved. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm just interested in female perspective. When we identify with each other, whatever the issue is, it's such a relief to know that you're not alone with something. Image, body image. Yeah. It's so huge. It's always been huge, it's just being highlighted now. There's more places to compare yourself and feel insecure. The power that you have as a young woman, unless you have great self-esteem, is mm -hmm. largely based on how the rest of the world reacts to you. It's kind of a superficial confidence that mm -hmm. you have. Actually, at my thinnest, every day people would say, oh my God, you look amazing. People reacted to how I looked. Yeah. All people were seeing was the outside. The thing that I find is missing is like just actually paying attention to someone, mm -hmm. like really seeing someone. It doesn't matter what age you are, right. or what race you are, right. or how much money you earn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The truth is, is that there's a universal experience that women are having. Right. The, I get the... to interview these amazing women. <laughs> I'm interested in people. I'm interested in telling stories behind the camera, in doesn't front of the camera. Doesn't have to be your story. No, I right. mean my story is just one of many stories of women who are fascinating. It's important that we see women who have aged gracefully and with dignity and are not ashamed of their age. Yes. Otherwise, we're just perpetuating the notion that youth is the only answer. Yeah. What would you say to that 14-year-old Amanda? Everything that you're going to experience mm -hmm. that you think will be the end of you could actually be the making of you.